All right, YouTubers, this is Ash. Want to show you guys my water changing station, the completed project. It took me around three hours to finish this. Should not take that long time, but I just ran into small little, uh, uh, you know, adjustment here and there, and that's why it took me a little while. But usually, this project should not take you more than an hour to finish it. Uh, so what I use is two uh, 40 gallon brute cans from Home Depot. This is my fresh water reservoir where the water goes from the RODI and then what I have is uh, the float switch in here that controls the flow of the water I'll just show you guys the float switch as well so right there is the float switch uh, then what I installed is uh, two bulkheads uh, three quarter inch all the fittings are three quarter inch the reason being I'm using a uh, mag 950 pump which has the in and the outlet as three quarter inch so I went with the three quarter inch fittings so two bulkheads for three quarter inch um, 90 three quarter inch as well a check wall um, that will control the the back back uh, flow of the salt water going into the reservoir just in case if you forget to turn this thing off by chance so this will uh, stop the salt water going in here it can only flow water one way so that's called check wall then I got four walls uh, to control the flow so this one uh, will open the flow from fresh water going into salt uh, the reservoir can I got a T uh, another wall to control the flow from salt water going uh, through the pump into the salt water can again for the mixing purpose down here I have used uh, what this is called as uh, bushing uh, that connects the uh, inlet of the pump, the 3 quarter inch and another bushing that connects the outlet of the pump as well. Uh, there are two different kinds of bushing, one that goes inside uh, the pump and the another one that goes on top of the uh, third area of the pump. So you gotta be careful when you buy this bushing, one is the male, one is the female. Uh, I got another T installed here, um, another valve. This I will use it once I'm ready to change the water. So what I will do is I will switch off this valve. I will keep this valve on so the water from the salt water is, is the water is going to the pump. And through this, once this I turned on, and through this hose that I had it, again I use another bushing and the three quarter inch one again. So it just connects it to this hose. Um, it just goes straight into my aquarium through this pipe and uh, makes my life much easier. So uh, this is it guys, it's very simple straightforward project. Um, nothing uh, you know uh, hard, I mean any DIY person can do it, Every, if I can do it everybody else can do it, trust me. Uh, the water is being mixed right now, so that's why this is off. Uh, the fresh water uh, wall as well as the water going into the aquarium wall is off because the water is in mix right now so this is open this is open and yes guys so this is my water chain station as I said it should not take you more than an uh, hour hour and a half to finish this project if done properly if you have all the tools and uh, you should be good to go let me know what you guys think and I'll just show you guys how the water is also being mixed into my system. It might be a little bit noisy, but once I open the lid, so that's where you see the water being mixed right now. So it's not really neat and tidy, guys. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know. Thanks a lot. Any comments would be appreciated. Bye for now.